uh, by Evgeny Igorevich Smalenov. He will be speaking about a surgery as a method of treatment of multiple metastases in lungs. Usually there can be a lot of metastases in lungs because lungs act as a filter for blood. Metastases in lungs are detected in 30 60 percent of patients usually they are located in some plu subplural lung area and are detected only in control examinations recently multiple metastases in lungs uh, have been widely started chemo or hormone therapy can be prescribed depending on the patient condition. However, survival rate is still the same. All recommendations are based on retrospective analysis data. We don't have any prospective analysis results yet. Here on this slide, you can see the number of publications devoted to the results of surgical treatments in 2015. Uh, the, num the number of these publications increased from 300 up to 3,000. So the interest to uh, multiple metastasis in lungs is growing. So treatment of lung metastasis. Here we have two approaches. Surgical treatment, Dr. Mineo says that it is an affordable alternative. However, survival rate is relatively low. Dr. Millere has a different opinion. He believes that surgery will not bring us any good results. We don't have any proof that the patient will live longer after the surgery. The goal of our study was to assess the efficiency of uh, operation, surgical treatment in multiple metastasis in lungs. We assessed the frequency and structure of post-operational complications, survival rate, and so on. Uh, 47 patients participated in our study. They were treated in our clinic from 2004 to 2015. These are inclusion criteria on the slide. So these patients were operated on lungs. So out of these 47 patients, 50% were men and 50% women. The age range was um, from 18 to 70 years. Soft tissue and bones were damaged usually. Some had colorectal cancer and some had uterus cancer. So all of them were operated on. This is time of uh, cancer appearance in lungs. So, some patients developed cancer in less than one year, in some from one to three years, and uh, some for more than three years. Uh, there was bilateral cancer in some patients, and this is uh, 
are results of computer tomography. Uh, more than 15 focal points were found in some patients. We used electrocoagulator and laser with the wavelengths of 1,318 meters with a very good cutting effect and uh, uh, simultaneous coagulation. A blastics and a septic levels are really high. So invasion is uh, less intensive due to the uh, small resected area. Unfortunately, we were not able to use this laser all the time. So we made two different groups of patients and we used the laser and electrocoagulator. All in all, we performed about 86 operations. Thoracotomy was performed for, uh, for some patients. Actually, we adhere to the principle of uh, low invasion, partial resection with laser in uh, 44 cases and with electrocoagulator in 32. Lobotomy and segmentomy and other types of operations were there. Complications developed eight patients, uh, non surgical complications, pneumonia, one subskin emphysema, and um, phlebothrombosis of uh, low limb. Uh, vessels and as the results of pathomorphological examinations metastasis were confirmed with 43 patients four patients uh, we found benign transformations in the lungs like hamartoma with one patient uh, we found both metastasis and uh, TBO of the lungs. With comparative assessment of using laser and electrocoagulator, we didn't find any exudate. Uh, complications were non surgical, three in each group. The duration of the of surgery using laser was longer than usual, but it was associated with the number of lesions to be operated on in each case. And the number of patients with the recurrent metastasis was higher. 36 patients received adjuvant treatment cytostatic therapy or radio, uh, uh, radiation therapy. No adjuvant uh, treatment was uh, in connection with concurrent pathology. After operation, the outcome was either terminal or the last visit was 18th of June 2016. <clears throat> With 18 patients we found uh, recurrent metastasis in the lungs. Uh, three of them are uh, there was a relapse of the primary tumor without manifestation in the lungs. The overall survival rate, depending on the type of the tumor, was 43 months with patients. With sarcomas, it was 21 months. Total survival rate with a unilateral lesion didn't have any statistically significant figures. 
One of important criteria is uh, the overall survival rate depending on the non-recurrent survival. It was uh, the first group 17.6 months, the second group 24 months. Uh, over three years, uh, the survival was 30, 27 months. So, meaning that the surgical method of treatment is efficient when treating patients with a multiple metastasis in the lungs. Using neodymium laser has uh, certain advantages over electrocoagulator as compared to uh, in case of metastasectomies. Uh, uh, if we receive convincing data on the surgery with a survival rate of, with, of patients with multiple metastasis, it will be, uh, so far the data is not present in the literature, a very interesting presentation. So you have decided to start for the analysis with four metastases. Then I have two questions. So the survival rate of such patients, what do you think affects it? Biology of the tumor or effect of the surgery? If we take effect of the surgery as effect of the combined or complex treatment, with them the survival rate is higher. And also, advantages of the laser over coagulation. After treatment with laser, did you suture that cavity? Did you have, didn't you have an impression that the area happens uh, after treatment with laser? In literature, you can find uh, evidence when the defects were not sutured. Thank you for an interesting presentation. Did you have many patients where the neoplasm was a benign one? Might be they were inadequately examined the diagnosis because it is impossible that tuberculum or hamatum they cannot arise like that out of themselves. You didn't do any retrospective analysis. <laughs> Benign development was found with four patients. Two of them were operated on in 2004. Might be there was some error in diagnostics. Did you plan a uh, neumectomy? No, that was uh, uh, intraoperational because the CT data did not match the result. Uh, in uh, a case is described when over 200 metastases were removed from one patient. Can you tell us about the details, the morphological type of the tumor, location, number? Uh, we had experience with 103 metastases in one patient. Uh, what happened to that patient? He lived seven months, uh, three months later, he had a relapse in the lung. Also, you said that the surgical method combined with treatment are effective when you treat multiple metastases. At the same time, you admitted that it was only a stage in the combined treatment. Why am I asking this? 
if we start speaking about the about surgery that it is effective what would you think how many patients like that we can have and where they will receive treatment just understand that in some cases and not have all the time it may happen but it is not quite correct well uh, that was my purpose to uh, to consider the surgery as one of the stages in the combined treatment that will no doubt raise some questions do you have any data on the frequency of a recurrence after treatment with laser no we didn't analyze this then i'll make a certain regression now digression we counted the number of patients among our patients uh, and uh, the result was 1.6 percent it was fairly high percent so we decided to perform an atomic resection of metastasis have you examined medicinal lymph nodes uh, the, uh, we read that uh, in one of the papers that with coarctal cancer uh, there are 97 percent of metastasis. Uh, we did it, but we didn't.